Hello, my sweet babies. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be, wherever you are in the world as I am posting this. I am posting this where I am in time for August 17th, but depending on where you are in the world, it may have come and gone. You might not see this video for a few more days or weeks or months. So we're setting the intention for a message for the next uh, 24 hours, and we're going to see what message we have coming up here for the collective out there mm -hmm. and the card we have is the four of wands how very funny because yesterday was the three of cups and now we have the four of wands we're getting all like the stereotyped love cards um well if you're new to my channel welcome i take a little bit of a different approach when it comes to tarot uh i know that a lot of people like to watch tarot for love and romance and so for that reason the four of wands has gotten typecast as like wedding getting married and that can be the case for some of you in fact yesterday's card of the day was the three of cups and i talked about in that video how three of cups gets typecast as like engagement so there could be something brewing here for some of you some of you may be manifesting engagement marriage all that good stuff but the cards have layers to them and they can mean multiple things. So I like to try to focus not just on the love aspect, but other ways this card could apply. Four of Wands could be uh, some kind of uh, a gathering, event, uh, social engagement that might be coming up. And so sometimes this card comes up because we are invited to something or we're going to be invited to something and we're kind of tempted to just say, oh, no, no, thank you. Or I can't make it or I don't know, or it's last minute or whatever it might be. Or we might just kind of say, no, no, thank you. But four of wands can say, hey, it's going to be good for you to go to this occasion. It's going to be beneficial for you. You're going to have a good time or you're going to meet uh, somebody significant or it's going to be uh, beneficial for you in some way to attend this event. So sometimes this can come up to give us like the green light to be a part of some kind of special occasion, celebration, party, reunion. Four of wands can also be a sort of homecoming. Sometimes I see this card come up when you may be returning home. If you're living somewhere uh, other than where you grew up or where you're from, there may be a trip coming up where you may be going back home. And in that instance, e even if you've been back home before, in this particular instance, it may be where you realize in this instance how far you've come, like how much you've grown, how much you've accomplished, um, you may even feel as though you're being celebrated or you're proud of yourself or people are like, oh, wow, you know, like we've been uh, seeing what you've been accomplishing or oh, it's so good to see like what you've done with yourself, what you've done with your life. And you're like, oh, wow, I didn't realize I didn't realize how far I've come. And now that I'm here, I, I kind of see that contrast and I see how much I've accomplished and I can really be proud of myself right now. Sometimes I see four of wands come up in this way. Um Four of Wands uh, is a sense of home, like a solid foundation, security. So some of you may be manifesting a sense of home, okay? You may be manifesting a sense of home or feeling like, oh, I can finally start putting some real roots down here. I can really start thinking long term. Sometimes this card comes up for me in love readings when spirits trying to give you confirmation that yes, you know, there's love for you in the future. Yes, there's actual legal marriage for you in the future. And sometimes um, the message with this in my readings can be, uh, sometimes I read for people who have a tendency or a, or a habit to fall into uh, situationships or they end up with very um, emotionally uh, intense connections where like there's passion maybe even love but the relationship doesn't progress outside of the bedroom the the relationship doesn't progress uh into the daylight into like the everyday activities it's not a situation where um you know your friends and family and their friends and family can really mesh or you guys aren't really building or creating things together moving into the future because you may be attracted to somebody on a soul level. This could be a soulmate 
but we have various kinds of soulmates, right? Even when it comes to love and romance, we have several. And so sometimes we get so wrapped up in that attraction, we don't realize that in this lifetime, we don't have the same values or we don't have the same um, uh, goals or ambitions. And so the relationship can be very intense emotionally. There could even be affection here. And you might say, oh, I know this person cares about me. I can feel they care about me. Why can't we move forward? Because you all are going in different directions. So sometimes while well, it's starting to pour down rain, I don't know if you guys can hear it. The North microphone is picking it up, but it's just started pouring down rain. Um, so in this instance, four of wands can say, not only are you manifesting the soulmate, uh, where you're going to have connection, but this is someone that you're going to have a sense of community with. You guys will develop mutual friends, even if it's finding those mutual friends together. A lot of people are evolving right now. A lot of people are leaving jobs and relationships and all kinds of things and like finding each other. So even, even if you all meet and you don't have mutual acquaintances at this time, you may be in your evolution, in your healing, in your growth, establishing together as a couple, mutual friends, a sense of community, a sense of home, uh, making plans for the future together, working on goals together, moving forward. So it's a real sense of security, stability, uh, long-term energy, life partner energy. And this could be something that some of you may be manifesting at this time. Now, a lot of you like my channel because I don't only focus on love. So as I said, if that's something that for you, you're absolutely like, nope, no way. Nope. I don't want to hear about love because some people are there and that's okay. That's fine. You know, uh, four of wands, as I said, it could just be just to emphasize here, it could be creating a sense of home, a sense of home, a sense of community, a sense of security, a sense of laying down roots. Um, so uh, these are the different ways that this card can come up. I'm trying to tap in here and see if I'm getting anything else intuitively. All right, so I paused for a little bit and I kind of honed in here on it and I kind of meditated on it. Um, and the only thing I'm really getting here is uh, I have my grandfather coming through. And so um, he's giving me a feeling or a sense of... Uh, uh, like a, a sense of like returning home, but like home and security in like in, in childhood or like roots or foundation. So I feel like this could be, uh, this could be like, like a returning to your core beliefs, your core values. And but like establishing a sense of family in that process or a sense of home in that process, uh, but, but like a sense of like security uh, and a sense of, uh, I don't know, I'm just getting like just really strong, like tradition, like tradition, family values, um, like, uh, like just like a, a child who feels safe or secure um, uh, so like this kind of security and some of you maybe are like, I never had that in childhood. Well, your inner child is going to get to experience it, um, in your adulthood, because, uh, I feel that many, uh, of you are being led or guided or, uh, called to, um, the people, places, and things, uh, that align with it vibrationally. Okay, keep in mind that sometimes this could even be um, somewhere you haven't been before, because sometimes things call to us on a soul level or like past life level. Um, I know that there are certain things that really, really uh, give me a sense of home. But from my cultural background, there's no connection right? Or I never spent time there in, in certain places, but a certain places or certain things, I'm like, wow, like that really, really 
uh, gives me a sense of like home or a sense of belonging or like uh, a, a warmth. So it's not always going to be something that maybe you've experienced in this lifetime. But as I said, these people, places and things that you may be feeling called to are really going to feel like home for you. Or you feel like, okay, like this, this really resonates with my spirit. This really feels uh, solid. This really feels uh something like uh like like deep like not just roots but like deep roots like putting down deep roots you may want to check out the weekly forecasts if you haven't already they're linked in the description of the video there's also a link in the description of the video to schedule a private reading with me um calumny's been kind of iffy um i'm gonna have to go through and uh if you feel like you're having an issue if you've scheduled a reading but you haven't received a confirmation or something uh, do let me know. Uh, you can email me amethystangelite at gmail.com. Uh, I've been having issues with them and I am shopping around for like a different uh, scheduling service. Uh, but let me know if you've scheduled a reading and you haven't received a confirmation. Uh, I've emailed them. I'm following up with them, but I think something may be kind of off right now. But there is a there is a link in the description to schedule with me, and you should receive a confirmation back. If you don't, please email me. Let me know, and I can um I can look into that and make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. Love readings for August are linked in the description. Uh, weekly forecast are links in the description. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous day, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's daily message. Take care and be well, my dears.